What's up guys, Tech Times 2 here, and it's pretty late at night, so I'm going to make this video quick. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to do, um, we're going to be doing a little tutorial called how to do, or how to set up speed fan. Now speed fan is a fan control utility. Um, I'll explain the rest of it in the, in, as we get on into the video, but first off I'm going to show you how to get speed fan. Now, to get speed fan you're going to want to go to Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, Inter Microsoft Edge, Firefox, I don't know, Tor, and um, you're going to want to type in just speed fan. F -S P E E D F A A N because you can't see that on the screen. I'll just spell it out for you. Then you're going to click on the first link here. Click on downloads, and then you're going to go to right here. Go to speed fan. 4.52 or whatever version it is when you download it. And then you click download and it'll start downloading down here. And as soon as it's done downloading, just exit out of here or you could have clicked it. Go to files and what else? Okay, you click on downloads and it should be in here. And it should be this file right here. Just double click on it. Go ahead and agree and make sure all that's checked hit install and I'm not going to install it because I already have it so I'll just hit cancel but you would hit install so I'll hit cancel and then basically it'll open up this when you're done it'll say do you want to run this and you'll just click yes I don't have that because I've disabled it but anyways guys let's keep going so it'll be scanning all your ports on your motherboard and a lot of people will just start this up and be like hey why isn't it working I'm trying to control CPU is not working. What the heck? This is horrible software. So what you're going to want to do is go to configure. Go to Wait a second. Yeah, go to configure. Go to advanced. Click on chip. You're going to want to go to the one that's like something like this at dollar sign 290 on ISA, something similar to that. Then you'll click on it. And then what you're going to want to do is find all your PWM and then you'll click on them and um it'll say probably like thermal cruise speed can something like that something smart fan 5 you'll want to scroll up and then click manual for all of these and make sure you click remember it too on all of them then you'll click okay and then you can now control your CPU fan which you'll see the first fan in that camera up in the top left hand corner if you can't tell it's spinning it should start right now and there it goes it's at 35 percent and um... then i'm going to turn it back off then we've got our auxiliary one right here just go ahead and you can turn it on and it'll turn on that fan in the back as you can see it turns on at 31 percent I'm going to turn that back down, and if you want it to automatically control your fans like I have it, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go to configure again, click on fan control, click on, these These won't be here, so you're going to want to click add, name it, so like if you're controlling the CPU fan, you'd name it CPU fan, and then click OK. I've already got it, so you're going to want to do that, then it'll show up here, you're going to want to click controlled speed, you're going to want to check that, it's already checked for me. And then you'll go to whatever one you want, whatever fan port. Mine is, of course, CPU. And then I will go to temperatures. This is the temperature it's going to be going according to. So mine's the CPU core 1, which is core 0 on here. Then you'll want to, well, you'll want to click add first. And then you'll find whatever one, like, you won't want to do CPU from that. It won't work. You'll go to core. And then click OK. Now I'm going to remove it because I've already got one. And then now you can control what you want it at. So you want the fan at 0 degrees. It's going to be at 0% of course. And then at 50 degrees Celsius, mine's at 0 degrees. Once it goes above 50 degrees Celsius, it'll go up to uh, gradually 100%. So the fans will not turn on unless it goes above 100, or sorry, 50 degrees Celsius. And then you'll click OK make sure you have controlled speed on and then I did the same with my case fan which is in the back and my GPU fan which is in the front 
not the fan on the GPU, the fans that are blowing on the GPU. So then you'll want to click OK. And now you can just go ahead and check automatic fan control up here. And if you want to set them at a, a static speed, what you will want to do is just click uncheck that. Don't do anything that I just explained about the fan thing. And um, just control them manually like this. So you want it at 55. As you can see that one is slowing down. I'm not sure if you can see it. And then the one on the back slows down. Not sure if you can tell. And now it stops. But I'm going to go ahead and go with automatic fan control. So it'll be off most of the time when I'm not recording or doing anything. So it'll be completely silent other than the hard drive. Yes, I still have a hard drive. I need an SSD. But other than that, completely silent. Then you'll want to click minimize. And then it'll go down into your tray here. And to bring it back up, just click it. And there you go. Now you can do a lot of other things. You can overclock with this. Um, you can just you. There's a lot of things you can do, but basically we just I just told you the most basic feature on it, how to control your fans. Anyways, guys, this is made by some random guy. It's not a company, so don't expect him to have annual updates for this. And also, that is why you have to configure it because it would be extremely hard for him to configure it for everything. So anyways guys, just click minimize, it'll go down there, you'll have to s click on it every time you want to restart your computer, it won't start automatically. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, this has been Tech Times 2, and remember, it's not just tech here, it's Tech Times 2. Anyways, see you later.